Well, hello. Another day. A Thursday. Trying out something new today. Well, kind of new. Same old stuff. Just a different location for today. A little pouring myself some tea. ASMR. <laughs> How is everyone today? And I've decided that I need to, for the YouTube and the VOD crowd, kind of give a quick explanation at the beginning of this each time. Hi, my name's David. And you're about to watch my stream. I call it attention to detail just because I think it's hilarious to put that on, well, anything professionally related uh, speaking of that attention to detail I do not currently have the bot running let me fix that up right quick okay. run dev there we go we'll see if that stays there. I've also got an interesting situation where I kind of don't have my normal window layout, so we'll see how this works out, right? Anyway, as I was saying, um, this is my stream where I just kind of go over technology stuff. Uh, anything I find interesting, generally when I'm working on something anyway, I'm going to be streaming. And lately that has been a lot of Node.js development on the bot that is going to be handling this stream from a moderator standpoint. So without much further uh, to go on there, or further to discuss, I guess I should say, Let's say hello. And yeah, how's everyone doing? Quick reminder, uh, we have, oops, I don't want that running. I have a pad for doing that. I shouldn't be doing it directly on the device. Let's fix this so I'm actually looking at it, huh? So yeah, right now I'm kind of in a hotel room, um, but we'll see how this works out. I'm kind of curious, actually. Oops. I had to snooze my alerts. So I think today is I'm going to continue working on bot stuff. Let me make sure that I've got the stream set up to say that yep tomorrow i'm probably going to be driving again um so if i do pick up the gaming stream it's going to be late <laughs> um one thing that is kind of important however Make sure desktop is still muted. Yep, there we go. I don't have a second screen right now, so I'm kind of trying to use my tools, and I should have probably just used them here, but... All right, so I want to hop on to Twitch. We can pick any one of these. Irish John be my preference, of course, but I'm just here to get this. Just so that I have it in the corner. And let's close this. Cool. This was fun, getting the, um, the router that I talked about on my last stream working. It was kind of cool, actually. Maybe I'll, I'll do that real quick. Just kind of go over it. Um, so 
so the way it's set up right now is as a repeater i'm connected to the i've got it connected to the hotel wi-fi and then it's connecting out to my uh stream board and the camera that i'm talking to right now and then obviously the laptop as well on top of that i've got a vpn that i've set up that does split vpning so um Anything that's supposed to go to my lab will be redirected through the VPN. Everything else goes out to the internet as as a whole. Um, so far, I'm, I'm impressed with this little guy. I expected something a little bit different uh, when I plugged it in. I tried to do a wired connection first, and uh, the wired connection here was not happy. Wasn't having it. Um, so skipped that and tried this repeating functionality and it's surprisingly fast at handling it i mean we'll see how this stream turns out right but at the end of the day uh it seems to be doing what i want it to do so far it's also possible that the hotel is going to say nope you're not allowed to do that uh again we'll see for now uh let's get into what we're working on which is el bato make sure i don't have anything open that i need no i think we're doing okay hopefully the screen's not too small uh the screen on this laptop is really really nice actually and at times even i have to kind of squint a little bit to uh to read what i'm working on and I, I haven't put too much effort into adjusting it. Uh, it is something I should probably share. Is the, the laptop that I got and the process that I went through and the, the reason that I got it. But that'll probably be a later stream. I didn't really plan for any of that today. And a little bit of iced tea. wine glass because that's what i've got here <laughs> just bougie like that pinky up um all right so let's let's get on with it what were we what were we gonna do today i'm on which branch am i on i'm on main so what did i change in main i should not be changing things in main Oh, I was screwing with the components. You know, let me try something real quick. This might be as good for you as it is for me. Let's change these settings just a little bit. I hope OBS doesn't freak out. We'll find out. How's it? looking Meh, looks fine to me although right now it's still showing display settings isn't it let's do a quick transition and back uh oh it looks like I may have frozen the screen that's fun Not my finest moment. All right, let's take a look at that real quick. Go back to you. Can I do this and then this? There we go just had to reload it no problem of course now it's very weirdly shaped let's fix that all right that's good for everybody involved i think knocked out let's see if i can get it not sure if grabbing my phone every time i need to respond to someone is ideal but I've seen worse. Okay, 
So, bada bing, make sure, bada bing, yeah, we're still good. Um, I was doing a little bit of, I was putting a little bit of effort into the components, I believe, last time we chatted. This is not currently running. Noctel escaped. So let's hop into that. Note that the development build is not optimized. That's fine. Uh, we just need npm start here. Cool. And right now, Authenticate is still doing the same thing. So let's take a look at the comparison here. So I've got that. This has to go. Okay. Oh, I can just move it. Yeah, we'll just move you out the way. So let's take a look at what we're doing. I believe it's in a partial over here and we stashed it in head. Head. It's like an orange on a toothpick. Nope, header. There we go. All right, so that's saying if authenticated equals false. So that's, and that's something that I believe is getting pushed through here. I still need to fix that, but that's something that I'm gonna be fixing in React. I'm not gonna fix it over here again. What's the point, right? Test. So this does index. Let's render test. Oh yeah, so it sends the authenticated. Okay, so if I hop back over to this guy, what I need to do is look at how do I interact with How do I get data over to the React app? So let's look at that. Um, React client app data channel. Is that what we're looking at? No, I don't think that's what we're after. Well. RTC might have some data or some information. No. Uh, React. Uh, React. Yeah, we'll just do that. Fetch API data. So it's is it just going to be using fetch? And then I can just do the same thing and just fetch to see if it's available. PX create React, yep. So this thing keeps coming up. Uh, oh, create Vitae latest. So I think that's just another way of doing React. Still haven't, why would I look into it? <laughs> a stale while revalidate method this method is used to fetch data from a server and is used in react it manages any issues that may arise obtaining the data and helps you manage its storage includes use state and use effects so there's no need to import them How to use SWR to get data in your application, create a file, then install the package into your application. So let's look at that. 
going to need another terminal into here. Install SWR. And we'll see if that, if this will get us where we want to go. 10 vulnerabilities, what? Let's see what vulnerabilities we're looking at. And if it's anything I want to deal with. Webpack, CSS. And check micromatch. It looks like it's all fixable, so let's put a pin in that for now and come back to it. All right, so import use, which is a hook that has both use state. And define a constant variable called fetcher. This function is capable of receiving any number of arguments generated by the arg syntax. All right, so back here, do I want to do fetcher? No, I'm going to do it top level here. So we're importing this guy. Let's keep an eye on this one. Is importing. Package without declaring its dependencies, okay. have the fetcher. Now what this may make me do is rewrite some of the bot backend to be more API like. We'll see. <laughs> uh, actually, no, that's that's exactly what's what that's wanting. All right. I don't think that's what I want. Because this is basically just re... This is reinventing my wheel because why would I fetch from my bot when I can just fetch directly from Twitch, right? Like, uh, it doesn't make any sense to have the bot fetch it and then React fetch it. I just want to get the data from or into my front end. beginning to wonder if maybe react is just a heavy too heavy of a method of doing this <laughs> or if i should have just written should have just investigated writing the entire thing in react Ugh. Let's do a quick check here. React versus what's React JS? Does that just mean I can include it in there? Well, there's no difference. Um, can I use React with Express?
Oh, here's coming from the templating world. This is essentially technically, traditionally, server-side rendering. The server handles the request, determines what to render, then sends out a bunch of HTML. Since 2010's client-side frameworks emerged, in simple words, they use pure JavaScript to generate the DOM, or less equivalent to HTML, blah, blah, blah. SPA will not is not a cert, not search engine friendly because the index does not contain any data. React server components, not to be confused with. Okay, as long as you ch chose React, the Express server will never be a templating engine anymore. It's a REST API server that provides data. So yeah, that's going to be my only option. Convert the thing into an API. But it's just an, it's becoming just an API of APIs, at which point I should have just written the entire thing in React because what am I getting? What am I getting by having a client and server? A client, the React app should make, okay. And that's, that's what I was thinking. Now the question is, am I in a trap of, I'm gonna rebuild it again for the third time with a new technology? Or am I in the trap of, I picked the wrong technology from the beginning because it's not really a server side thing, despite the fact that my intent is to make it a bot server. Which one would we say that it is? Because I really don't want, I don't want to be pulling from an API to send out as an API. And I just, I guess on the plus side, it, it kind of makes it so that instead of writing an API, I'm well, there is already some functionality where it's acting on its own, um, such as if when you do the dice command, like it's doing that outside, right? Ooh, Jafarig. J -j -j Actually, quick uh, squirrel moment. Let's buy a bunch of these things just to make sure we have them. So then the React portion would only be interacting with the server API bits. Okay, I, I think I think I'm. I am writing a different, different type of API. Um, and that actually gives me another issue that I need to do here because I'm still working off of main like an idiot. And I think I've already got, not you, I think I've already got a activity an activity that is or sorry a branch for this purpose. Uh, 
Uh, no, we need to go to branches. No one caught the Jafarig. React. <laughs> Feature React backend. No, it is a React front end. I wonder if I can edit this and change that. Rename to Feature React Client. The news overlay is still something in process. Okay, so right now I'm, I've only got the two branches. I feel like this is something I've had to look up before, but... Uh, I just want to get rid of the local one. Actually, you know what I can do? I know what I can do. I've already got, I've already gone through this in a sense in that get pull, we're gonna say get checkout feature React client would be overwritten by the checkout. Please commit your changes or stash them. Uh, my hope was <laughs> All date cool we're on our feature everything seems grand let's add these two minor changes that I made <laughs> right oh I forgot to add it all right, now we can get back to it. So actually the first thing that I need to do, I can put most of this away, is get into this app and make this act more like an API. Then an express app, or then a we don't want to worry about the rendering, basically. We can get rid of that. Although we're still going to be using WebSockets for the chat portion. So there's that. This just, that's just the redirect. This was an attempt at the music. Okay. Uh, maybe not there. Maybe I do it here. And get. We're gonna do. Sending it's not going to be we just do status start with something small, right? Yeah. 
and with status what we'll do is we'll just validate whether or not it's been authenticated and that's what we're doing up here key null is false It's just sending to make sure it's authorized. I can basically just copy all this. And it won't be a res render, it'll just be... Res.send. Sync, right? Make sure it didn't crash on me. It did. Unknown validation or key on what now? Socket.js register fail to subscribe to channel shoutout create API call return status code 400. This was, I was running into this before. Did I just accidentally grab another bug? <laughs> A bug that I had probably fixed. All right. Unknown validation error, subscription condition, moderator user ID. Okay, so the moderator user ID is missing in that. Let's put you away. I definitely picked up a bug again. I think that's not what I wanted. Oh, you know what? I think I stashed the, the fix to this. into main that was two days ago but I pushed those fixes in so lib web socket now it just has a space there okay So thankfully it is here. Oops, I need this and failed on the required tab. Isn't that here? Operator user ID failed on the required. Oh, 
Oh no, it was down here. Oops. There we go. But part, oh, part of this was that I wanted that to not get called so many times. And that's something that water bot template. So, no, this was definitely. All right, I definitely went backwards on this. changes, right? stuff out of the stash. <laughs> okay. Once again, we go to David reads a web page. Clean working directory. The command saves your local modifications away and reverts the working back to head. The modifications stashed away. Get stash list. Oh, now Twitch chat is back. And restored with get stash apply. Branches up to date. What? Hang on. Motivation is get stash list, inspect with show, and restored with apply. No changes added to commit use get add. Right, so let's go back to the list. Yay, more unos. Let's see if we get it. Potentially on top of a different commit, get stash apply. Mm. 
So do I need to do that? Oops. No. Please commit your changes. Okay. Adding changers. <laughs> That at least give us the errors. Okay. So now. To check out. This is coming up, that means it's not up to date. So how do I make you get up to date? Do I just need to make a new branch? That seems like a stupid way to do this. chat is gone so twitch <laughs> conflict uh, merge conflict and package automatic merge fix complex but at least it's got chat. So now I've got to go find the issues. Yay! the one I'm on right now and I need to find those errors Why does this have get ignore being added to it? Asked me that guy, man. I tell you what, he is ungrateful. Get me some more ST.
view, copy, commit, copy, commit message. Please clean your repository working tree. I want to add all of the files. again see what that does <laughs> error not why did that happen copy pasta you've not you've not concluded your merge end up with will you run you will not unexpected property or name <laughs> in package.json at position 224 oh incoming change why does it say no quick fix available? Just, the quick fix is let me f keep this one. Done. Okay. Easy enough to fix, right? No problem. All right, bring you back up, get out of client. Make sure that we're all added. This is the situation, and this is why I should have the main branch be locked down. Like the only reason that main should ever, or the only way that main should get things into it is via pull request. Um, so let me get into that and look at that. I need to remember where I set that up initially. Signing verifications, no. Oh yeah, there are no protected branch. 
No, we need main. Disable push. I'm not going to do signed commits. Pull request approvals. Prior approvals. We can stick that to zero. So let's do a quick test. Make sure that that did what we expect it to do. So. I did commit them. So now if I'm over on main again, and let's say, I'm just gonna add that in there. Or not. Failed to save the contents of the file are So what? I, I don't want, I don't want to. All right. Let's just close it. No save. Don't save. Package. All right. Make sure that that's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Yeah, the address is already in use. That's going to be fine. No problem. And over here, it doesn't look like it's crashed, so we're all right. Hey, look, another Unan. Okay, catch. Wow, these things are, are like cockroaches. They were joking about that in, in one of the main channels for that game but no joke the unans are are lots man just sitting through this i'm gonna drink this entire thing of iced tea you've never had it this stuff's pretty good it's unsweetened too so you don't gotta worry about all the sugar just plain old green tea probably see if they have that on Amazon and provide a link <laughs> because why not what was that oh yeah we're just making sure that didn't crash so now go away we need to do let's see if it'll let me do this now unown escaped stupid unown oh well, i can just do that no, because I need to delete the commit if I do commit on main. Well, all right, we're just going to do it. Oh, 
Remote rejected. Error failed to push. Not allowed to push to protected branch. Okay, so now I just roll back. Uh, is it roll back or delete? I'm going to have to play Oh My Git again just because. <laughs> <laughs> your accent get reset head Terribly misguided. Reset head, edit files, add. So then I just make the correction. And now I should be fine to go back to. Instead of deleting it, I should have just done that. Okay, there we go. Sweet. second.
reason I had you on mute this entire time. That's fun. I hope you weren't on mute for all 20 minutes. That would be less than ideal. I'll have to check the recording on that. I need... One of my problems with the way that this thing is set up, it doesn't give me the data that I need easily. It gives me the buttons, which is nice, but it doesn't give me the data. And why is that so far into my head now? there. <laughs> it's a little smaller. Or do I just grab me? And push you just above the displays. Does that look better? that I mean <laughs> yeah maybe we go with that all right we'll run it see how it goes maybe we make this uh, bring it back just a little bit sorry we're kind of doing it live here not normally how I roll but Yeah, that works. Weird, it moves so much there. Why isn't the text in there? Sorry, you're not here to watch me screw around with my settings. I will try some more of that later. All right, so a list of dependencies build, including every value from your component used inside of those functions. Your setup code runs when your component is added to the page. After every re-render of your component where the dependencies have changed, Your cleanup code runs one final time after the component is removed from the page. So when the chat room component above gets added to the page, it'll connect to the chat room with the initial URL and room ID. If either URL or ID Sorry, got distracted by a hurricane's notification. <laughs> when the chat room component above gets added to the page, it will connect to the chat room with the initial server. Okay. If either URL or room ID change as a result of a re-render, say if the user picks a different chat room, your effect will disconnect from the previous room and connect to the next one. All right, so that's the cleanup code. So on connect that happens, on disconnect that happens, socket on this, this, this. That's our cleanup. So it returns so this is saying that it's going to return new message. So I need to put it here 
Or do I do it in here? So let's look back at this. Can I do it here? Object.keys you. Okay. And then dot map. Okay, so now in theory, this all right let me just grab it like this and see what we get all else fails copy and paste from stack overflow right object is not defined okay and that's that's true that's because we need Reload and test. Hey, I cut the skip loom and crashed the app. <laughs> uh, objects are not a valid react. That's, is it because I'm doing it here? Maybe I need to do that. get it to return because this is when the socket's off when the socket's on does that work reload and one two three it's still red but, okay, so callbacks apply is not a function. Go back to this. Let it crash. Objects are not valid as a React child. There's probably a better way of just modifying that, right? Hey, look. In my components render function, I have this. I'm 
was unintentionally including an object in my JSX code that I had expected to be a string. Reference the property of the object as a string or convert the object to a string representation. So if I do that, I mean, if, if it's just that, that would be nice. Although it doesn't seem to be loading at all now. So do I do it here? Still doesn't like that. Send another test. Nothing happens. And I, I have to be using JSON string if I write, correct? <laughs> Object. If you just cut to string, all right. I don't think that this is going to be the fix, but. Yeah, no, this, this is the exact same issue. So why, just why? Why does it seem like it's working? Well, it was 3001. It says that it's compiled, but it doesn't like it. Possibly. Callbacks apply is not a function. I just got the same error, different mistake. I use double braces to insert the value of count instead of the correct. Just the function. When I wrapped it in a div, it started working. Okay. 
Parent child singular should be type primitive, not object. Let's look at by default socket.io client open the connection to the server right away. You can prevent this with the auto connect. I've already got that. So in here, it's saying nothing is necessary. Yeah, I don't know if that's, I don't think that's going to fix my issues. Wait, that's the wrong one. This is the one I want. And red. Okay. Callbacks is not a function. Oh, right. But I, I left this in there. Let's get rid of you. And we're going to have to try that again. reload you okay and <laughs> now we have a different error okay and that now we're back to it's sending an object event is foo event so let's look at the events so here is where I should be not returning at So I get events, event, new message. If I go to events, oh, you know what? That is one thing. I forgot I was logging it out. Uh, boom, boom, boom. To make sure it is getting sent. Okay. and then the array so it, it's getting sent as an array so it's listing the key and stop map event index Alright, so this shows that I am, in fact, sending it as an array. Or at least I should be. Uh, 
Oh, but it's an array of objects. That's right. Okay. So if I do events, I say zero, well, actually, no, what I need is I get events.map, right? So I'm already kind of got that started here. I just do it this way instead. Spinda. Pokey catched. So in this case, we have object keys, events. So that's open, close, bracket open, bracket close. this at all. Uh, let's get rid of this. So events, maybe if I do zero. And just sneak it through. They're undefined, and we test. It crashes. But if I do zero here, it just fails to load. Because technically it doesn't exist yet. what I need is if events otherwise now I'm still getting the issue events.map is not of oh that's going to be true though <laughs> Cannot read properties of undefined reading map. See, this kind of sucks though because if I 
great it comes through. I get all of the, the object items, but I need to convert them. What's going on? Events, connection manager. And uh, there's kind of just a yes, no there. So this is assuming that maps is already an array, which it kind of is, but it also isn't. We're going to let event array equal, and then we'll do this weirdness again. Was it here? Where was I looking at? Dang it. This. Signed, but never. Okay, so then if I do here, I'm going to go back over here. Will you load? You will not load. But if I send test, you will still do nothing. <laughs> Cannot convert undefined to null or object. Line five, right here. Okay. Object with keys, set ID, ID, and info. So list item key is the index, but I don't want it to be the index. Actually, let's let's go this way. And see what we get, right? Testing some more. Alright. So event array, boom. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so we get a lot of... Let's try and break that out. So if I want event array, we're going to start with... Chatter username, which I think is... Did I say that the third one? One, zero, one, two, three, yeah.
It's still going to error out. But now we get the chatter username. This is definitely the wrong way to do it, but that's all right. So list item key is, it's a mapping event. Oh, this is, this is super messy. So events comes through and it's got all of this. I don't need prototype, but I do want badges, right? And badges is an array, so that's good. Then all of this gets turned into arrays. Do I get rid of this? Let's see what that looks like. Ping. Hey. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. And what we actually want here, it says index and event, right? On the plus side, it is not crashing. It did get sent twice, which I'm not a fan of. All right, one second. And we are back. Okay. 
so we're getting these things and I think we're just getting it's having it's saying the index and the event so the key div id root app ul list item gives the marker it's saying the event so if I do event Like that. Chatter username is not defined. Okay. Then let's do this. Zero. Let's see what that looks like. Because that should hopefully be the actual number, right? Oop. I'm arrow. Did not care about that. So event array, am I meant, I'm, I got uh, tongue tied. I have to be misthinking about how an array map is working. And I feel like I read this last time and Return a new array with the square root of all. Okay, so it's gonna just do the same thing to each item. It's gonna create an event index. Uh, text, let's try this. <laughs> And we'll just same idea here. Text. Actually, no, we want this to be message. Looks like my hope is that's what it grabs, right? Broadcaster user ID, broadcaster user ID. What's all? Why? And that just adds the word message. Ping. Pong. Okay, so it's uh, there is also that. It's only grabbing one item, which is a start. Broadcaster. Why is it doing it so many times just by adding? saying undefined. So right now I'm printing 
the event array. Let's see, does that show up? array three what is it saying two let's do two event array two chatter user id and a bunch of undefined Let's just print the entire array. All right, so now we get the full array again. But everything's coming through as undefined. But that's probably just because I don't have anything in there. Now the event array is still undefined. Okay, <laughs> super useful. Basically the same thing, but I am going to get rid of the map. All I want here is the keys. And then we'll do that. Get down to the bottom. All right, test array just shows the keys. So the idea here is that what I'm getting is then the key, but right now none of that stuff is coming through. When I send one through. getting the data in there but when I print the event I do so I need to do I need to break the message out as well Rather than doing all of this, what if I instead just did if I did events dot message dot text. That's printed, hopefully. Wait. Oh, right, 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 no, because it is, I still need events zero. OK, 
Okay. So the test array comes back with test. And hey. It once again decided that I needed to open a window or open another <laughs> chat stream. Okay, so since all I'm really worried about is getting that data. So if I do test array message, Missing semicolon, what? And that should be giving me the key, right? Looks like, uh, test array. Wait, where are you just getting printed? Am I crazy? Like, it, it, I seem to remember. You can use text. So that adds each one, adding, adding, using the JavaScript view. It's a new array. Okay. You access an array by referring to the index number. Converting an array to a string. Arrays are objects. Arrays are a special type of object. Okay. That I'm aware of. That turned out to not be as comfortable as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Array elements can be objects. Yep. Array properties and methods. Array length, sort. Length, accessing the first, accessing the last, looping arrays. So I get the object keys, events, zero, the dot map key. In theory, I should be able to do this. Actually, go there, not there. Test array is not defined. Oh, yeah, because it's not anymore.
just wrapping my mind around all this. And sometimes this is the method it takes. So, key, 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 key. All right. So, if I'm returning the key, and then I'm returning the event... Ooh, Espeon. That's going to be an Ultra Ball. Let's do that, too. So it comes back as undefined. Which makes sense, actually, because the array events zero. Event array equals this. So right now still logging events all the way up at the top right here so this is what's coming through as the object Oot. caught the espion I need to strip out all of the prototypes because those are all extras. The event array is still coming through like this and that's that is not the right way. here is that events so events here should I be doing that um, where are you All right, so this one doesn't have any other text. So this is, this is giving me zero. Key. But it's not giving me any other data. But then it gives me text. Text gives me fragments. That gives me my last one, which is TDT. Mm, okay. So if I do this. with keys set ID ID and info okay so the problem here now is that I'm I am getting the arrays that I mean to get but those arrays contain objects 
like you do. So what I need is if type of Now that's going to fail because it doesn't exist, I think. Oh, the message came through. Finally. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so. We're getting the message, kind of. We're getting the ID, we're getting, actually we're getting all of the things that we want. We're just also getting this. Event key, equals index, and then event. So we're returning a list. We're using event array. If the key is index, why is event coming across like this? If I just do No, that's not gonna work. Why doesn't that work? No, that's not the problem. We're still getting the same thing. All right. So that's unrelated. Event is apparently coming through that way. So why is event coming through this way? Is it because I just added dot text? Should I do dot to string?
Interesting that the object is coming through now. But why am I getting... List item key. Why is this coming through like this? I don't like it. <laughs> Why is event coming across this way? some of these console logs they're not doing me any good just taking up space but I am going to say here actually Is this the issue right here? No. Okay. Um, not getting anything logged anymore. All right. That's because I stopped logging things. <laughs> gonna do console.log in this case we'll do that and it's gonna make me do this again I mean, it seems to me like I should just create an array with three items in it, <laughs> or the three items that I want, and just send those. Hang on real quick. keep bouncing the uh, back and forth with the hang on real quick but still getting used to this layout and there's some things that are kind of like oh I gotta be over here I gotta do this There we go. 
so I'm getting, I'm basically getting the ID, the object ID, and the data jammed together. Oh, is that, I have it in two places. There we go. <laughs> Could have realized that. Uh, let me get rid of the two string here. So I just need to get the next level down in this case. So if, if it comes back as an object, then I need to make another array. What the heck is a jellicent? So if events key equals object, then I log it. Just fine. Um, no one caught it, so I guess I'll never know what it is. All right, so if that's an object, then I kind of have to do the same thing, right? So I do just another level down. I say events zero key. Again, it just closed, like, which app did it, or which thing did it even pick? Who are you? Two lives, one stream, what? Why are you just randomly dropping off of my stream manager app? That's weirding me out, honestly. Object dot keys. In this case is that's going to be map two but what we need is actually Send a test. Ah. All right, we're still getting an object. Um, message to make it crash again.
Consider adding an error boundary to your tree to customize error. Why are you still printing the test? So right now I only have that one. That is my only current console.log. Oh, let's let's see. We're gonna say object dollar sign you otherwise we're gonna say that all right and it's currently not doing anything Throw a number, let it crash. We have event, 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 and then we have an object, but then we get an event. So it's still just sending the object. Oh, okay, so wait, we are saying if that is. Right now it's returning. I think my brain is putting right now. And the worst part about this is I'm not going to have much time to read up on exactly what's going on here. I don't like doing this this way. This is messy and error prone. I've got an object. I know which things I need out of it. Why am I handling this as an array? I think I'm going to burn all of this down and I'm going to say I want the list item because this doesn't even generate multiple list items. This generates one list item and then updates that same list item for each message. That's not what I need. If I do this, so an event comes in, let's, like I said, burn all of this down. We want uh, event array. Equals. And we're going to do events dot. Broad, not broadcaster um, chatter username 
events dot message dot text. But what I actually want, I want that to get added onto the end each time. So there's what uh, array dot pop takes the last one off. Uh, array dot push pushes a new one. Okay, but to the but it does go to the end. So I need const event array. equals that and then I say um, event array dot push expect a token on 16 oh yeah you're not needed anymore Okay, so the problem here is that it's still pushing objects. We're going to say pu dot push. Oops. Still going to get that error. Okay. Uh, objects are not valid. So, event array probably. Problem is, I need a number there. I don't think this is going to do what I want it to do. Well, actually, no, this is because this is just going to push a single message. I need to do all of the handling of, okay, which message am I on on the other side? So this pushes events.0, or events0 dot, uh, no, not broadcaster. I keep doing that. Chatter user name. I think it's user underscore name. I can just, oops. Reload. Oh, right, but I need if there's actually an event. All of this has to be hidden in a if events return null. Else do the thing. Oh, whoops. Nope. 
I had it right. Alright, so that claims it's successful, but it is not. I, how did I have it working before? <laughs> ah, joy. far today but I beat my head against it a little bit however much was left of it <laughs> but I think this is where I'm calling it for the day um, we'll revisit I'm gonna I gotta read up on exactly or not exactly but a better way of doing this because I don't like this method I, I kind of get that okay yeah it needs to get converted into an array of values before I can iterate over it and show it. Um, but I'm just not liking the way that it's being done. So, yeah, definitely some more reading to do. Maybe look at how uh, it's done in other types of apps. And then we'll be back at it next week. Um, yeah, so... Tomorrow, I will probably uh, not be streaming, but if I am, it'll be a little bit later uh, as I've got some more migrating about to do. Next week is going to be hit or miss. I don't know what the, the connectivity looks like, where I'm going to be, but I'm going to try. So until then, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for hanging out. If you're on uh Twitch and you're just lurking, thanks for the lurk. And if you're watching a VOD after the fact on Twitch, either way, thanks for uh, spending some of your day with me and I'll try better. I'll do better next time. I promise. <laughs> Take care, everyone. And uh, just keep trying.